for that opportunity. Uh, <laughs> Asante sana. Asante. That, that's our Deputy Governor, Your Excellency. And uh, tunashukuru. Wacha ni chukue na fasi. Let, let me take this opportunity first to appreciate uh, the, the, our preacher today, Her Excellency, Dr. Rigadi, uh, Drokas Rigadi Gashago. Because uh, even as I welcome Your Excellency, it is now clear why you are called the truthful man. <laughs> because <laughs> every day in the morning, if uh, you are required as you have a cup of tea to listen to the truthfulness of Her Excellency. And in the evening, before you go to sleep, that has been the story of your life. You have no choice but to be a truthful man. <laughs> <And> <laughs> so, Your Excellency, our De Deputy President, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, uh, your spouse, Her Excellency, our Bishop, and uh, the entire clergy of this church, our House leadership in the National Assembly, Majority Leader here, our women rep, Senator, plus all members of parliament, all visitors this morning who are holding distinguished positions from Senate and also in the National Assembly, plus other offices of government. Our members of the County Assembly, we are led today by our Deputy Speaker. We also have the rest of the House leadership all Christians here this morning, God is good, and all the time, Salimiani, kwa salamu zake mwenyezi mungu, nasema shukran sana, najua bishop wetu alikuwa meniuliza atamimi, mapema ya kwamba tusizungumza sana, kwa vile siku ya leo, tuko na kazi ile ilituleta, vile tulivyo ambiwa na mke wake naibu wetu wa rais ambaye ametuhubiria leo kazi ya kwanza leo ilikuwa ni church service ambaye tunaheshimu ya pili tumekuja kutoa and she has told us eloquently why how we are expected to give and that's why we are here so nitasema tu mawili kwanza bishop wetu ni kushukuru sana na pia ni kupongeze Kwa vile, mara nyingi, as you have counted all the other bishops who have been before you and who laid this foundation, it is not obvious, it's not a matter of course that when a good foundation has been laid and even if somebody who is capable comes after that, it is not a granted or given that that must continue unless you have the right people in the job. And that's why I want to congratu congratulate you, our bishop, our bishop, because one of the things that I have observed firmly in you is that you are a firm leader. You make decisions and you start, stand with those decisions. I've seen you in this church, which I'm a member, from childbirth, making very tough calls. The decision to start this building, together with our provost here, this project, with the team that you have put together, is not a small decision. It was a big one. Mutu wa sikia zile pesa kanisa inasema that we intend to raise, those decisions can only be made by a courageous man. And then secondly, as far as you are concerned, as far as you are, you are, you are, you are concerned, your, our bishop, you came up with a very, very inspiring mantra for this church. Katuambia ya kwamba msingi huko imara na tulenge juu. That mantra should be copied. It should be actually a national mantra. Because sasa kwa serikali yetu, 
tumepata uongozi wa rais wetu Dr. William Samoei Ruto. Na tuko na naibu wetu hapa. As a country we can also now start saying msingi wetu uko imara. Na sisi tulenge juu. <laughs> Lastly, Your Excellency, our Deputy President, as the Governor of Kiambu, as I congratulate our Bishop in the work they have done together with his team and ourselves to change this county and change many things in this county, Your Excellency. I want to state here as a matter of fact. Number one, the fight against illicit brews in this, in this county. We have taken it as seriously as you had asked us to do. And that is why you find, that's why you find that our bishop acknowledges that together as a team, we have put our young men together that we are rehabilitating not only in the church for mission, but also to start their businesses. To meanza kawash kada kwa vijana. Indeed, last week but one, I organized and gave licenses to rehabilitated young men to be garbage collectors and put them together to get some trucks and become worthwhile business people. That we did, Your Excellency. And I want to give you my assurance as the county governor that we will not take for granted and neither will we allow that to thrive in this county. I heard you, we spoke in Mount Kenya, and we have agreed that that is the way to go. Lastly, Your Excellency, in this county, when we came into office, two months ago, there was an assessment. And in the assessment of how have counties performed, Kembo County, we were ranked in the whole country as the number one county that collected the highest revenue in the whole country. We collected 3.6 billion that has never been collected for 11 years in this county by any other government. And, and Your Excellency, we did that in spite of that being an election year post. We did that, Your Excellency, besides all the challenges that have been there. Your Excellency, right now in this county, we are overseeing the construction and the completion of more than five level four hospitals across this county. We are overseeing the construction of new 13 level three facilities, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, we are today building in this county, never before done, ECD centers in 84 schools at the same time. Your Excellency, when I met the President last week, when he came to Kikuyu, I said on the public podium, I will say it again here, as far as the support for the national agenda on housing is concerned, as of today, we have got three ready sites for that, for, that, for that work, Your Excellency. And what we are saying is we are waiting for the ministry to come and we start the job. Your Excellency, we have more than nine markets now that are going for advertisement. And what I'm trying to say, Your Excellency, is that we are a serious partner with you in national government to ensure that what our women rep was talking about, employment for our young people, the change of course for our counties. In this county, Your Excellency, we are taking fast stride to ensure that we don't let you down. And so with those many remarks, Your Excellency, I just want you to know, as you meet our boss, His Excellency, the President of, of the Republic of Kenya, let him know that Kiambu County is fast forward in ensuring that this country changes and that our people change. I want, to, I want to congratulate Your Excellency, my colleagues and my friends in our County Assembly of Kiambu. And I, and I want to put this fully put to paid, Your Excellency, that I and the County Assembly of Kiambu, Your Excellency, that we are working together. And Your Excellency, that, that moving...
is to ensure that we build bridges and close ranks and ensure I want to conclude by saying this, Your Excellency, that with you as our example, Your Excellency, and I like what our member for Tindred said here. Your Excellency, we would be the most foolish people, and we are not because you are there, if the opportunity that God has given us as the people of Mount Kenya region to make sure that we can redeem ourselves as a region because we have the history from 1978 onwards and what happened to this region. But then God gave us the opportunity, gave us a president who loves us. And now, Your Excellency, we also have a team led by yourself and ourselves that is aware. What I would want to say, I started in, the, in, in Parliament when I was Senator, the one man, one vote, one shilling fight. And I want to declare here this morning, Your Excellency, that that fight cannot be lost. And this is our time, Your Excellency, to ensure that we pick it up as the people of Mount Kenya region. If we lose that fight at this time, if we lose that push, and I want to urge my colleagues all the way from Zarakanidi, all the way down through our, all our counties, up to here in Kiambu, where we border Nairobi, that we, ha we will never be forgiven by generations if we use this opportunity to promote interboundary and personal conflicts. That instead of joining together to change this country and to change this region, <laughs> that, that we waste and squander the opportunity and fail to deliver on the vision and the wishes of our people. I want to say your Excellency, as I sit down, that we have faith because of the position you have taken and the position the President has taken. Ourselves as leaders, that if we choose to use this opportunity to shadow box between ourselves, to promote small conflict between ourselves, that will be the spectacle of the country, then we can only blame ourselves. God bless Kenya. God bless Kiambu County. God bless the people of Mount Kenya region. And I know this opportunity, if we take it the way we should, that we are going to change this country. Your Excellency, we respect you, we respect our president, and we want to say that we'll stand behind him and stand behind you. Thank you, our bishop, for showing the way. May God bless all of you. Asante.